previously in this channel, we have talked about the metaverse and how two big names are battling it out to earn the top spot in that category. Those two names are, of course, the Central Land and Sandbox. Now, if you haven't heard of them, they are metaverses who have differences and similarities that causes the public to be opinionated in choosing between the two. But what if there was a third player to try and reach the top, or at least make a lot of noise to attract people to try out their game? Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Cash Out, the one place to be if you want to learn more about anything and everything crypto. Before we begin, we would like to make it clear that we are not financial advisors which means that we are not telling you any piece of advice. What we urge you to do though is for you guys to do additional research if you want to learn more. If you have questions that need to be answered, you can always research that and the internet most probably has the answer to that. Now let us head on to the video. As mentioned before in the intro, the Central Land and Sandbox have been getting all the attention in the Metaverse category because of their system and how hyped up they are in the market. These projects have already gathered the attention of such big brands such as Samsung, Adidas, and JP Morgan because of their potential. And because of how simple and easy they have made buying lands is, Metaverse fans had nothing to talk about but the Central Land or Sandbox. But of course, they also have their problems that seemingly people tend to overlook. That problem is where to buy land. Because of their influence, both these caves have gathered the attention of big names such as Snoop Dogg to their titles and let them buy plots of land there. Because of that, people are willing to pay more money to have land right next to these celebrities. These plots of land will be more expensive especially in the long run because of how valuable they can become in the future. This leaves regular people to struggle in buying land for the future. So, how do we find a fix to this problem? Luckily, we have a solution big time. Oh wait, let me rephrase that. Luckily, we have a solution in big time. So basically, Big Time is a AAA game that is set to release sometime soon in the second quarter of 2022. By the time you're watching this, it might already be launched. We know that there is a current race as to which game will be the first ever AAA blockchain game to release and Big Time might just take the price on this one. So. With big time, the problem of land prices is answered by the means of different rarities. The price of the personal space that you have bought is dependent on the type of space NFTs instead of where it is located in the map. This makes it easier for regular people to buy those areas in the future. The thought of big time was thought about by Ari Malich. If that name sounds familiar to you, that is because he was one of the co-founders and former CEO of the Central Land. Talk about the stack resume, and the designing of the game is being led by a man named Thor Alexander. The company is based in Los Angeles and they have the goal of bringing cryptocurrency enabled games to a wider audience. More people equals better cash flow, and a better cash flow means that your game is doing well. The game is now being worked on by recruits from some of the big names in the video game industry such as Epic Games, Blizzard, EA, and Riot. And from those names alone, you already know that the potential for the game is huge when you have people who previously worked on those companies that are working on the game today. Now that we have history and background out of the way, let us talk more about the gameplay mechanics. Big Time is essentially a multiplayer action RPG game where you are given the opportunity to explore space with your friends. Explore space? Star Atlas already has that going for them. So what is Big Time doing something new? Well, you are also given a chance to jump through time. Interested? I know. Stay tuned for more. But unlike games such as the Central Land and Sandbox where you must buy plots of land in order to enjoy the game, Big Time awards you with time machines the more you play the game. Let me explain. The basic lore of the game puts you in a situation of a time traveler where you must jump through time in order to prevent time from dying causing the disappearance of reality itself. As the player, you must find solutions to keep the timeline going and solve the overpopulation problem of the home planet. You can go wherever you want as long as you pay for it. During your adventures, you must seek solutions to the things that are happening in the timeline to save it. Think of the TVA from the Loki series for all you Marvel heads out there. Now, you progress in the game thanks to a feature in it called Timelines which is as simple as the name suggests. As a newcomer to the game, you are given beginner's time machine so you can explore your first ever timeline and start from there. After that, you can finally start exploring and meeting new and exciting things with each adventure you have. And as you go on to find fixes in time and space, you can loot the areas you explore to get all kinds of equipment. 
pets, and other things. Or you can also use the time machines to reflect yourself and let other people see your personality and achievement. This is similar to the plots of land that other metaverses offer only this time. You make use of time machines to show off your personalized space. Now, this is where you can find your main source of income in the game. The items you find are NFTs which means you can sell them in the marketplace in exchange for cryptocurrencies or fiat. You can even go as far as battling dungeons and win to get even better rewards. The possibilities for looting are endless and as long as you have a time machine by your side, you can do anything. There is also equipment that cannot be traded for crypto or fiat and their main purpose is to give you a boost on your adventures. Now, if you want to upgrade your personalized space, you must upgrade it in the big time marketplace. For this, you must make use of space. Space makes it possible for you to expand your virtual land and time machine. You can expand it into three different sizes. Each size will be affecting the price of the space. The larger your space is, the more things you can put in there. You can even put timekeepers and forges that will earn tokens for you while you are playing. Isn't that neat? There are also rarities of space that you need to take note of. The order of rarity is rare, epic, legendary, mythic, and exalted. At the time of writing this video, there are only 600,000 space minted in total. In December 2021, there was a big sale for space but only 60,000 were being sold at the time. You can also withdraw space outside the marketplace. Also, on March 24, 2022, they will have another massive sale of space. This will be well sought out by many as this will be the last time we will ever see new Exalted and Mythic space. Because Exalted and Mythic space won't be sold anymore, this will make them more valuable in the long run as more people would love to add them in their inventory. So, what's next for big time? Well, for now, we are just waiting for the official release of the game. Again, that would be sometime around the second quarter of the year, probably April or early May. But again, there is also an early release for those who bought VIP passes. VIP passes price are dependent again on the tier. There is gold VIP pass, silver, and even jade. The cheapest these passes can get is for $500 and can get up to $1,000. When you get an early access to the game, you will get access to insane NFT access that can only be acquired during that phase. But again, no exalted or mythic drops after the pre-sale. This will happen in a 10-week period. Once the early access period is done, the world will restart but the early access users will get to keep the NFTs they have earned previously. For my closing thoughts, Big Time is one of those games that has a lot of promise especially since it is being worked on by people with stacked backgrounds. But of course, it is being shadowed by bigger names such as Decentraland and Sandbox which makes it hard for them to make noise in the metaverse industry. But with the nearing of its release, we may see some changes in it soon. Thanks for watching that video! Please do us a favor and like the video as it really helps us a ton so we can dish out more videos like this. You could also subscribe to our channel to help us grow as a channel. Comment down below if your thoughts about the whole metaverse scene and if you think Big Time has the potential to make it big for a chance at a shoutout giveaway. We also have a video on CryNet so go check it out to learn more about it. That would be it from us today. Thanks for watching and have fun cashing out!